will discuss about this question. Uh, you are given that uh, the company has purchased the machinery on 1st January 2017 for 5,000 pounds. Company uses reducing balance, reducing balance of depreciation at the rate of 20% per annum. What does it mean? Reducing balance means so every year you calculate based on the reduced balance. Okay. End of 31st December 2018, the company sold the machine machinery for $3,000, £3,000. Record the above transaction in the machinery account, depreciation expense account, provision depreciation and disposal account. You need to show all these accounts. Okay. First of all, what you should do? You should calculate the depreciation. You understand? So can you calculate the depreciation? Calculate the depreciation. So how much is the cost? Cost is how much? 5000. Cost is 5000. So under reducing balance method, what you should do? The first year depreciation will be on 5,000, 20%, how much? 1,000. 1, so, this will be 4,000. Second year depreciation will be 20% on 4,000. Hmm. The reduced balance, this is the reduced balance. Yeah. So, which will be 800. 3,200. For the third year depreciation, 20% on 3200 okay so for how many years yeah so we don't need to uh, continue this okay we purchased on what when 17 yeah first january 2017 so when this was sold 31st december 2018 so you have the Full year depreciation for 2017, full year depreciation for 2018. Okay? So, two years depreciation you need to provide. On this date, your, the machine, machine was sold for 3000. So, therefore, you need depreciation for how many years? Two years. So, first year you will charge 1000, second year you will charge 800. Okay? So based on this, just prepare these four accounts now. So we'll try to record the transactions. Okay. First of all, you record the purchase. 5,000. Okay. So bank account credit, cash book credit and machinery account debit on 1st January 2017 bank account 5,000. Then record the first year depreciation. So the first year depreciation we calculated, uh, which is 1000. So depreciation account will be debited 1st January 2017. Provision for depreciation account 1000. Provision for depreciation account will be credited 1st January 2017 depreciation expense account 1000 then the first year transaction we have done it will be carried forward to the next financial year so 31st December 2017 balance carried forward the asset account 5000 then the depreciation expense account will be transferred 31st December 2017 to the income statement 1000 so thereby this account will be closed and the provision account will be carried forward 
31st December 2017 balance carried forward 1000 so on 1st January 2018 balance brought down 1000 the asset also 1st January 2018 balance brought down 5000 so this is for 2017 mm. now 2018 depreciation okay the same thing but the depreciation amount is how much how much is the depreciation amount uh, 800. 800. So, so 800 has to be recorded. Depreciation expense account debit 800 on 1st January 2018. Provision for depreciation account and provision for depreciation account credit. Depreciation expense account 800. Then end of 2018, you need to close the books of accounts for that period. 31st December 2018, balance carried forward 5000. And the provision account, or oh sorry, depreciation account, 31st. December 2018 income statement this will be transferred to calculate the profit or loss for that period then the provision account also will be carried forward now end of 31st December 2018 what has happened the company so all the machinery. Yeah. Okay. So 31st December 2018. You understand? So when you close the books of accounts for 31st December 2018, you understand? Can you carry it forward to the next financial year? This one. This balance. Balance carried forward. Because first January 2019. Okay. There is no balance. Mm. You understand? So 2019 means uh, next, another year, new year, you know. But 2018, can you carry it down, this balance? No. Straight away what you should do? You need to remove it from uh, 2018 books. Is that clear? Mm. So in that case, the so balance carried forward will not be there higher. It will be zero. Yeah. Okay. Likewise, provision for depreciation also. You can't carry it forward this to 1st January 2019. So there can't be a balance. Supposing if you are given 1st January 2019, yes, mm. you can carry it forward. Okay. So therefore, don't say balance carried forward. Don't say here balance carried forward. What you should do? You should transfer the machinery account and the provision account to the disposal, disposal account on 31st December 2018. So what is the first step? You transfer, remove the machinery account from the books of accounts. Don't carry it forward here now. So instead of that you can say machinery disposal account. Is that clear? Yeah. So why I am not carrying forward? Because the asset was sold on 31st December. Yeah. So therefore disposal account, machinery disposal account, debit 5000, 31st December 2018, machinery account. So likewise, don't carry it forward this provision account. Instead, you transfer this 1800, the provision, cumulative provision, mm -hmm. depreciation account to 
to the disposal account. Yeah. How much is that? Uh, disposal account provision 31st December 2018 provision for depreciation account 1800 so we have removed we made zero mm -hmm. account so what is the third step What is the third step? Find the sales proceeds. Yeah. How much is the sales proceeds? End of 30 for company sold the machinery for 3000. So when you receive cash, cash account debit, mm. where do you credit? Disposal. Disposal account. So 31st December 2018, cash or bank, how much? They sold for 3000. Mm. But here they say it's 3,200. Yeah. So it's a loss. Exactly. This is what I wanted to explain you. The previous example, there was a profit. Yeah. You understand? So here there's a loss. Mm. So your book value is 5,000. 1,800 is the depreciation so far we provided. But we could sell it in the market for 3,000. 3, so therefore there's a loss of 200. 200. So when you balance this account, okay, this side is more 5000, this is 5000, and there is a 200 difference. Yeah. Okay, so you credit the disposal account where you will debit? The income statement. statement. It's a loss, no? Loss yeah. means you have to debit. Yes. Okay, so 31st. December 2018 income statement transferred to the income statement 200 okay so I hope you understood very clearly huh? you have any questions okay so what we will do is now we have discussed the depreciation accounting for depreciation and disposal also we have discussed there are certain questions in the textbook so what we will do is we will discuss those questions as well. Then uh, next time what we will do is we will discuss about uh, the next chapter which is the uh, trial balance. Mm. And afterwards there is another topic called the trial balance. Then correction of errors. Under, along with the trial balance we need to discuss about the correction of errors. Then next chapter will be uh, control accounts, then bank reconciliation statement. Okay, so we'll uh, cover all these uh, chapters one by one in next videos. Okay, thank you. We'll wind up the class. Mm -hmm.